comes the axe. Prove yourself. The lane. They're collapsing. Clinks too far up. Rubik running with the haste and Clinks did not expect yes. that. That is first blood. Going the dire way. Yeah, very nice bait there. He kind of kept himself in range to where Clinks got a little low. Middle lane. They're collapsing. Clinks too far up. Rubik running with the haste and Clinks did not expect yes. that. That is first blood. Going the dire way. Yeah, very nice bait there. He kind of kept himself in range to where Clink was. Brief space for the Storm Spirit. Yeah. Top lane, Vengeful. Fissure hits. Necro's running him down. That's going to be a kill on him. Top tower is under attack. She's fine Starts for now, but ahead. you can tell as the levels are adding up here, Necrophos especially has been a lot more comfortable as far as playing very aggressive. And it seems like that Braxton is going to need to address that because the Drow Vengeful are having trouble dealing with it themselves. And actually, Drow's dead. Wow, I didn't think that he was oh, going to be able to run it down. Too. Oh, really? I guess not surprised, but Phantom Lancer is doing a hell of a job here at this bottom lane. Continues to have high CS. As I say that, they're going on him. They're trying to figure out the real one. And made it a little difficult. So we'll be fine. Yeah, Drow nice. again. Dead at the top lane. All right, so as I was saying earlier, I mean, Braxton, it, it's going to do a point. I mean, they have to address this. They can't just let him die over and over. In fact, Vengeful's probably dead now. Uh, they're going to kill at least the. Uh, there you go. Dyer's it's two nulls, sometimes one, uh, but Kaya is... I remember there was some debate on whether Kaya was good. Does he have the draw or what would you expect to see? On the Storm? Yeah. Progression. Um, I think that the fast Orchid is very valuable. Is uh, under attack. I mean, you'll have extra damage, so you'll be able to pop people faster. But uh, until the... Going to Yule's first item, middle lane, lift on a Clinks. The amp damage comes out with a wave of terror. There is no chance he lives through that. Four heroes just coming together. More of an offensive item considering the start that he's had, but instead of more of the defensive side. It's Drow top lane, though. Trying to get away this time. Ruby comes in for the save. The Frost Arrows, the Enchant Totem oh, was in wow. range. That ring with this Phantom Lancer. PL in trouble. Doppelganger is Swarm still on him. Now here comes Storm Spirit as well. Cold Embrace again will save initially. They kill Wyvern though, and the Remnant just nukes down. Lock him down. Oh, the tower, the timing. Very well played by the Radiant, but the Dire still gets credit for the tower kill. I thought they were going to be able to deny that actually on top of everything, but the Swarm. Oh my god, if Excel gets out of here, are you serious? Fissure in three. I still think he's dead, but that was impressive to watch nonetheless. <laughs> Let the Reaper Scythe happen and then get the gun to prevent some damage. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that, Necrophos, top lane. Oh, Dear wow. God. Your uh, did he just not... I mean, he had Ghost Shroud and everything. I swear he, he didn't did. even need... Radiant I thought for a second that he had, like, pressed Ghost Shroud just as Zap came died so fast. Damn, that was a lot of damage. I think he just underestimated it, honestly. I really think he really wanted to defend this. Okay. Necrophos is back. He has a Reaper Scythe. He heals up on Storm Spirit. He's got plenty of life. The Echo Slam on top of the Reaper Scythe. The kill on a Storm Spirit. So, great combo from WP Gaming. They're probably going to get the Vengeful on top of this. And it will result in two hero kills, and they protect the tower. So, it proves to be a great, just pretty good this game. Yeah, I'm sure it's something he'll go into a little bit later. But the Maelstrom definitely gives Weaver the ability to farm faster. Thing he's not the best at. Yeah. Top lane, big engagement breaking out. Necrophos, that Yule's keeping him alive a little bit longer, but the zap from Rubik will finish the job. Oh, great lift in a steal on top of the Fissure, I believe. Yeah, he stole that Fissure. The Winter's Curse on a Drow Ranger in the back lines, but not nearly enough damage. There was only Storm hitting him from a distance. Double kill. Surprised at that from Vengeful. It's a minor thing, but anyways, engaging. Rubik with that Fissure open. There's Vengeful with swap. Her Shaker, he still has an Echo Slam. He's signed up forever because of that freaking gust. The Cold Embrace gonna come on in time. The Winter's Curse on a Storm Spirit. But Storm Spirit, oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, Storm Spirit actually the Reaper Scythe on top of that. Storm will go down. So the Witch's Curse does come through. As Panthera's going to run away, that ain't going to work. They did kill Wyvern, but now Weaver, he has to get the hell on out of here some way. Shikuchi's pretty good for that, but the Fissure better at stopping him. Triple kill for arms. The Winter, although he's going to lift up Phantom Lancer. He does have support now. Wave Terror in. Shikuchi 4. They do dust up Clinks. That should be a dead Clinks, no doubt. Oh, Peel got killed strafe. as he TP'd. It actually oh, killed him. Down. Yeah, it killed him as he TP. The timing was perfect. Necrophos assigns. He got Ghost Rider. Oh, and that allows him to blink away as well. Lift. He sees him. They actually do see him. Rubik has to be careful about dying himself, but 
I assume they're going to be able to pick up this kill easily enough as they will. This is the knockback. Yeah, I feel like Gust is pretty good this game. Everybody's trying to run on top of you and keep them far away. Vengeful. Trying to make another swap play. Not going to happen. Possible. Um, he really is the true core, the one in this game, so. Wait. Uh, I mean, they, they killed him still, but. Yeah, if they can steal this away, very big deal, but they're being collapsed upon. Weaver in the back lines. Sword There's the opening, the timing. Drake, oh, he, he gets it. it. Sword Spear flying around now. Left or right, that is Leo style. Reaper Sat, they hear it going off. Looks like Drought is going to be picked up, so they lose the aura, but they've already got both supports, and now they get the Phantom Lancer on top of it. Yep, there enough. Sure enough, even. Has it queued up. Middle lane, smoke. Going for Weaver again. This would be a big kill. He's only died once so far. I'll make it twice. That's a BKB going off. Weaver jumping on top of the Phantom Lancer. Gets him the half life off the bat. Now he's bringing attention to Necrophos. Necrophos nice on an easy curse. kill, though. Nice time lapse. Curse in the back lines. Who didn't catch? On the swap out on Rubik. It almost killed him, but he stays alive as a result. Echo Slam hits a couple of heroes. They lost Rubik, but Storm Spirit, he's still looking pretty healthy throughout this fight. Nice cold embrace, though. Keeps up Dunha for now. And they do kill Phantom Lancer who went too deep. Ghost Stroud from the Necrophos gets pushed back by Hurricane Pike. But now he's very vulnerable. Drow's just going to sit there right clicking like a boss. That mask and mask steal, but it kind of is. You know, through the levels, it adds up more and more. The less agility he has as Drow. Four staff nice, over the fissure and will survive. Clinks cannot run him down. They lost Urshik in the back line. Storm Spirit is out of mana currently. He has an Aegis though, remember. So Rubik again going to be our, uh, Winter's Curse right there. <laughs> Wyvern. We'll end up getting the kill as a result with Weaver taking him out. Yeah, where is it? The Reaper side thought, nope, Weaver, he got the time lapse off. Doesn't matter. And now they're turning. Clinks, he's in trouble. That Crimson Guard mitigation is nice, but you just see the spread damage. Oh, no.